Howdy, and welcome to Wildwood. Like any kind and handy grizzly bear, Papa Chuck has offered to do some chores for old Mrs. Collins. And like any eager and bright-eyed bear cubs, weasels, beavers, and moose, the kids want to help. Good morning, Mrs. Collins. Oh, it's so great to see you all. They wanted to come. I hope you don't mind. Oh, not at all. How sweet. I'll get some cookies, and then you kids can go downstairs to play. Uh, Mrs. Collins, we were hoping to do something different today. What? No cookies? Whoa, not that different. Dibs on CJ's cookies. Hold on, Goose. Let me ask first. Then we'll worry about the cookies. No, no, no. I always worry about cookies first. It's called having priorities. Mmm, I think you mean priorities. No, pirates. It means to take care of what's important first so pirates don't get it. Gee, Ned, I thought you knew everything. Not everything you do. Guys, please, just let me ask. Um, now I can't remember. Cookies. Ask for cookies. Goose? Mrs. Collins, we were hoping that we could help, too. Oh, really? With Papa Chuck? That sounds wonderful. Actually, I thought I could work in here. And the kids can help unpack some of those crates for you. Well, that's wonderful if you really want to. But you have to be careful. I don't want you getting hurt. We'll be careful, Mrs. Collins. And I'll be right here. If they need any help, they'll come and get me. Right, gang? What great kids. I'll show you what room you can begin in. Just unpack what's there, clean what you can, and put it on the shelves. If anything is too heavy or sharp, just leave it. You're all much more important than what's in these old crates. And something else. I've misplaced something that Mr. Collins made for me a long time ago. A beautiful model ship in a large bottle. It's quite dear to me, so if you see it, can you let me know? Any questions? Goose, what about your pirates? Oh, thanks, Marcia. Mrs. Collins, with all this work ahead of us, we'll need to keep our strength up. Ned's looking a little beat. Oh, really? I guess only Ned needs a cookie then? I'm tired oh, and hungry. Uh, uh, oh, Could be almost anything. Mr. Collins traveled the entire world and sent everything back here. Maybe it'll be treasure. Or dinosaur bones. Or priceless china. Or cookies. Goose, we just ate a whole bunch of cookies. I know. Maybe they came from these crates. Oh, maybe they're priceless cookies full of rubies and diamonds. And how would you eat them? Well, you... And then you... Look, you see? It doesn't make any sense. But they sure would look pretty. <sighs> hey, look at this. <sighs> Just remember to be careful. Dust it off and stack it on those shelves. Papa Chuck and Mrs. Collins are counting on us. Oh, I like dusting. And I like shelving. And we all like exploring. This is great. We're going to be the perfect team. We'll get this done in no time. I bet they'll want us to come back and do even more. With more dusting. And more shelving. We're like a finely tuned machine. Good thing we're such great kids. Good thing. A finely tuned, unbelievably perky machine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Papa Chuck. I don't know what I'd do without you. My pleasure. I know the kids are excited about helping, too. They're real dears. And you know, when I gave them milk and cookies, they even used coasters for their glasses. Guess I'll have to start learning from them.
<laughs> I wonder what they'd say about sanding walls. I bet they'd say to wear a mask. You know, all that dust isn't good for them. You're right. Thanks. Mr. Shuffleby is coming over for a visit. I'm going to make some tea, and then we'll be in the garden. Have fun. I'll keep an eye on the kids. Prepare to meet CJ the Conqueror. Wow, can I try it on? The Conqueror shares nothing. The Conqueror comes to co Whoa! You were saying, oh great Conqueror? You can wear it until my ears stop ringing. Look what I found! A giant flower tray! Well, that's a shield, Marsha. A shield? Why would someone use a tray as a shield? Oh, it's not a tray. Here, give it to me. I'll prove it. Come on, Stacy. Let's see what you got. You sure you're ready for me, Sir Flower Tray? Oh, oh, oh. Sure thing, Lady Hardhead. Uh... My tray! I think you dented it. I think I dented my head. Brave be the knight is victorious! Fear not, fair damsel, I have vanquished Lady Hardhead! But you've scraped my flower! Oh! Are there any other fair damsels out there? This one's ungrateful and a little cranky. Me! Me! I'm a fair damsel! Look! I even have a golden crown! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Queen of Clumsy. I'll save you. Oh, no, you don't. She's my clumsy damsel. I want to be a princess. What about dusting and shelving? Ah, that's better. Uh, 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 achoo! Bless you. Thank you. Uh, 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 achoo! Thank you. My pleasure. Good thing you're wearing that mask. Yes. Good thing. Ready and show. The invaders! Whoa! Stop, guys! Finally! I think we better get back to work. Mrs. Collins. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do princesses always see stars? Oh, Goose, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were in there. A uh, good thing I had my crown on. It's way too big for you, Goose. We can barely see you. It's not. It's perfect. It's totally in style. Oh, yeah? Marsha, stop holding her. What do you think now? I think it's perfect. I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? How does this sound? Well? Wonderful. Sounds like an orchestra. Let me try. No, I want to turn. I think you can both join in. You can? Yeah, just hold still. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> hey! <laughs> um, anyone else remember why we're here? It's so nice of you to have me over. Thank you! Oh, you do so much work on my garden. I thought it would be nice for you to enjoy it with me. Mmm, are those chocolate-covered walnuts? Yes, I had to hide some from the kids. I know you like them, too. <laughs> oh, they're good and so polite and so helpful. Such darlings. They're actually unpacking Mr. Collins' old things for me. Wonderful kids! I can't imagine how long it would take me to get through it all. And all of them so responsible. Okay, can someone 
please explain how this is going to be fun? It's called gladiators. When we give the word, we all charge. Whoever's left standing wins. Is there any way we can have fun without banging our heads? Oh, come on. No one's going to get badly hurt. But Stacy has a spear. I'm not going to poke anyone, silly. Just hit them with it. Why don't I feel better? I know. I'll be a cheerleader. Oh, that sounds fun. Me too. There's no cheerleaders and gladiators. Oh, no? How about... Ned, Ned, Bob and Weaver. Ned, Ned, Mighty Beaver. Ned, Ned, Big and Strong. No, no, no. No cheerleading. Better watch out. You don't have long. Actually, I kind of like that. It's catchy. Inspiring, even. No. We begin now. Defend yourselves or perish. Ah! What does perish mean? Ah! What's going on in here? Look at this mess. Give me that spear. I can't believe I have to say this, but don't ever play with spears. You could have... And look at this. It's cracked. You're done here. Clean this all up. And where's Goose? Goose, get up from under there. You were supposed to be helping, and now this is broken. You'd better start thinking about what you're going to say to Mrs. Collins. Just having some fun. What are we gonna say to Mrs. Collins? I think that was cracked already. It's not like we really broke anything. And Mrs. Collins never uses this stuff anyway. Hey guys, look what I found. Whoa. Wow. That's so it's cool. beautiful. That must be the ship Mr. Collins built. It's beautiful. Let's put it somewhere safe. See? We're doing good here. Ooh, good thing you didn't break this. You should be more careful. Us? What about Sir Brave Beaver Knight? He just cracked heads, not plates. Brave Beaver Knight is a nobleman and would never think... Enough chit-chat, oh noble Beaver Knight. Time to clean up. How's it going, dear? Ready to start painting. The kids, however, will need to talk to you. Things got pretty out of hand. Oh, my. I'm sure it's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. Cubs get out of hand. Grizzlies forget to put a drop cloth under a paint can. Everyone makes mistakes. They're good kids. It just needs some reminding sometimes. Reminders are good. I'd put that paint can on the table. Mr. Collins used to kick one over about every time we painted. This stuff is so cool. It's not fair. <laughs> Brave Beaver Knight thinks it would be okay to take a break. Yeah, just a little make-believe. Whoa, you guys! We've already got in trouble! Yeah, remember Papa Chuck? Are you sure? I'd sure like to protect the castle of Queen Goose and Princess Marsha. Queen Goose! Princess Marsha? All hail Queen Goose, royal weasel of all storage room topia! And all Princess Marcia, royal moose, and protector of all flower trays. I like your ribbons, princess. Your crown is divine, O oh queen. Now all we need is a castle fit for our queen and princess. How are the young'uns doing in there? Papa Chuck said they were getting a little out of hand, but uh, he spoke to them. Young and full of beans, those kids. Good thing they listened to him. Good thing. 
It's a work of art if I do say so might. Oh, boy. Uh, guys, I mean, my royal subjects. Isn't it high enough? Last one. Almost done. Queen Goose, it looks a little dangerous. No, that's too bad. The beauty parlor usually sits in the highest tower, but, you know, if the queen and the princess don't need it, then... Oh, oh we, we need, need it, it, we need it! The grand castle of Storage Room Topia is complete. What are you doing? Brave Beaver Knight sees an army approaching over yonder hill. I was trumpeting a warning. To the battle stations! Ready your weapons! To the beauty parlor! The army has stopped. Their general approaches. He probably wants to state his demands. We'll have to meet him. It could be a trap. Only the bravest should go. CJ the Conqueror will meet him. Not without Stacy the Destroyer! Answer, Brave Beaver Knight! Let down the drawbridge! Forgot to make a door. Not a problem. <laughs> oh, brave warriors, can we do without a drawbridge? Have no fear, oh queen. Almost there. Just a little. Oh, no! CJ, Stacy, kids! Oh, dear. I hope they're okay. We've been attacked! Ugh. The queen is not happy. I'm glad you're all okay. Now what happened? Well, we were upset that you scolded us. It wasn't fair. We were just having fun, and we didn't really break anything. And then we started to clean up, but we got to playing again, and... And I got to be queen, and Marsha... And I got to be a princess? And it got out of hand. I get it. First of all, do you even know where all this is from? They're Roman artifacts from before Christ was born. It's all valuable, and none of it's yours. We're so sorry, Mrs. Collins. We almost broke this, too. We're sorry, so Mrs. sorry. Thank you, dears. It takes a big person to admit when they've done wrong. There was a good reason I was scolding you. And whether you're a kid or a grown-up, you'll get corrected. It's a big part of life. But you don't get scolded. Actually, I do. Usually by people who love me and are looking out for me. It tells us in the Bible that whoever listens to instruction is on the path to life, but the one who rejects a correction becomes lost. Papa Chuck, why is your foot blue? I didn't listen to some advice. There's two kinds of folks. Those who learn from being corrected and those who just get mad. If you just get mad, what's gonna happen? You're just gonna do it all over again and get in trouble again. And end up with blow feet. <laughs> <laughs> what about this, Papa Chuck? Is it Roman too? Whose crown was it? <laughs> well, first it's not Roman, and second it's not a crown. It's a chamber pot. What's that? People use them as toilets. My crown is a... <laughs> it's all clean now. <laughs> Don't worry. We're sorry, Papa Chuck. We should have listened. And don't worry, Mrs. Collins. We'll clean this all up and make it up to you. I know you will, dears. The good ones always do. Mm -hmm.